watching but it's so hard to get to you because when you see the sun i see the moon buckets of water millions of clouds miles of road just to get where you are oh, i wish it wasn't so far it's 20 to 10 um on tuesday and I've got, I've got tutorials starting at 10, so I'm just getting ready for that. We're just on Zoom with my class, so it should be quite good. I'm just, honestly, I've been feeling really rubbish, so I think that's why I'm just going to do a wee bit of makeup. Just to try and make myself feel a bit better. Um, just, yeah, just try and look a wee bit better, feel a wee bit better. Palette to my own. Um, I thought I would just kind of speak whilst I get ready a wee bit just because I didn't really get much filmed yesterday because I was just so like I ended up chatting for a while and then kind of the work that I was actually getting ready was like all through email because we're not allowed in the workshops Everyone's done through email rather than, or Zoom, like, we don't actually go into the workshops or anything at the moment. So I was getting things organised um, for a metal piece <clears throat> uh, yesterday. Um, and I kind of just spent the day like kind of figuring it out in my head, um, what size I wanted it and stuff. So that's what I kind of spent yesterday doing and um, catching up with the rest of the class and seeing how they're kind of getting on um, and then today we've got tutorials at 10 like I just said uh, until 2 and then I've got about an hour before I need to go pick Graham up from work. So in that hour I'm probably just going to do, um, look and see what work I need to get done. <clears throat> I can't remember what I was doing last. Probably just, um... I was gonna say probably just like stuff on the computer again because there's not really much to do physically um anyway so probably just doing that i did go and pick up well i'm working with this i'm working with someone using their kiln to make my glass strawberries i think i mentioned that last vlog I did go pick one up. Basically, there is a couple of issues. Just kidding. Um, one of the issues being that I only filled half the mould. So, um, there's a couple more still in the kiln. And hopefully they'll be full ones. I think I'll lock them the cat's not after. yeah so basically I just need to experiment with my strawberries to get them perfect or get them how I want them and then I can then do like a final one so I'm kind of doing like a couple of different cast um, moulds just to see how I want the strawberries to come out basically. Um, so I'm doing a kind of half and half mould and then I'm going to do um, kind of like a lost wax but you can just burn the strawberry out um, and then try 
try that. Just try and get like the full strawberry with no lines and stuff. So I got that to do, but in reality I'm skint, so I need to wait <laughs> until I get paid to buy more of the special plaster stuff because it's quite expensive but <clears throat> um and you don't get very much of it so it's quite annoying um so I'll, I'll buy some of that when i get paid and then hopefully i can get the molds made and then get the glass in them basically such a miserable day today as well. Sorry if I'm not really looking at the camera, I'm just kind of... Also, I look weird in this camera. Oh, I just made it worse. Anyway. I've been talking for six minutes, so I doubt I'm going to put all this in the box, so... thousands of dollars just to be Studios are good. Um, yeah. It's good to get some more studio days. And, and it's actually not a space uh, I, because it doesn't contain anything because it's just a free f uh, f uh, f floor with three walls. And making quite, um, I don't even know how to describe it, just like quite personal work. It was kind of like a turning point um, where I had been making work that was like personal but I'd been kind of covering up my personal um link to the work by like this political kind of I don't know I worked all last year on separating the political from the personal um so last year I had been writing I had been starting to do some poetry and stuff and basically I had brought this I'm gonna read it out um because this is what it kind of started from so I'm all right to just read that out now yeah, just, just okay. go for it, Sean. Um, I felt a fucking loss, although you probably didn't give a toss. I had given you my everything, and you'd given me that goddamn ring that was supposed to mean forever, but it obviously fucking never. I grieved for you because you couldn't be fucking true. You left me broken, bruised. I gave you everything I had, and all you did was make me bloody mad. I pieced you back together, and you couldn't decide whether you fucking loved me back. I had to leave you all behind, but it doesn't mean you never crossed my mind. See, I'd cared for you your whole life, but he knew it would wind me like a knife to take what I'd had held so close, because if I had chose to leave you all behind, I would have had to have lost my fucking mind. And lose my mind I did, because amid all the chaos you had caused in my life, even though you promised me one day I'd be your wife, I forgot who I even was, and I deserved a round of applause for dealing with your shit, you goddamn hypocrite. You told me we weren't like other couples, and you weren't fucking subtle when you left me for another and out the grass, and out of my grass slipped like my chance to be a mother. Last project was called Funeral for the Fuck Boy, um, and it was quite it was quite a brutal work. Like I was angry and mad, and even though the feelings were were me being sad and upset, but they were coming out like aggressive. Um, and I was like kind of like welding onto metal and stuff. So this year I kind of wanted to kind of go a bit more subtle um, and explore this. Can I get rid of him and don't really care about him, but start to like mourn the loss of this child. Just heading to Graham's mum's now. We're going to grab some pizza. This lovely lady. Mother, mother. So it's Wednesday today. Um, and I'm not really feeling too great, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> I started to hit a bit of a low at the weekend. Um, and I had a really good Monday and a really good Tuesday, but I've kind of almost came. <clears throat> I've kind of like almost came back down from that high, almost. So I'm feeling it a bit today and I was super tired and I went for 
a nap already and it's only 5.26. Um, I was meant to have class at 2 but I was so tired that I fell asleep. <clears throat> but it's fine because they get um, these ones on a Wednesday get recorded so I'm just going to go back now and watch that. <clears throat> take some notes and then I've got stuff to do for an upcoming seminar next week. Um, but yeah, I just have not really filmed very much for today just because, in fact I've not filmed anything apart from this clip. That's spot. Um, just, just out of, because I just haven't felt very good to be honest. <clears throat> so, I'm hoping that doesn't last all week and that I can feel better tomorrow. I really have much to do tomorrow at all. I might do the seminar stuff tomorrow rather than I might do <coughs> I might do the seminar stuff tomorrow rather than tonight. But I'll just wait and see how I kinda feel because it's still quite early in the night to be honest. It's only twenty to six. Graham doesn't come home till nine, so I've got until nine just myself to kind of be productive. Um, other than that, what did I do yesterday? Did I? Oh yeah, yesterday was just Zoom most of the day. Um, we had tutorials, which was good. I did film some of that. Tomorrow, Thursdays are usually my kind of day off. Um, I just don't have any lectures or classes on a Thursday or any commitments really so I just decide how I feel on Thursday and either do work or don't. Um, but I might do that seminar stuff tomorrow. Um, Friday's pretty much the same. We are meant to have a lecture on Friday, like an artist talk every Friday but it's never materialised. So <clears throat> Fridays are kind of the same now. Um, no commitments, just seeing how I feel and doing what I feel I can do. Um, I was really happy with how the tutorials went yesterday. It just kind of made me feel a bit better that everybody is really at the same stage. Um, because because we've not got that proper studio um, time together, it, it's hard to gauge if you're on the right track almost because you don't have that any peers to kind of reflect against. Um, because obviously everyone's social distancing and we're not all in at the same time. So yeah. But today is just going to be a chill one and I'm just going to go easy. I've had just had some dinner there. Um, so I'm not hungry and I've got some delicious juice here so I should be ready to just kind of knuckle down and get some work done. What is it? Keeps me alive. What's up? Keys in a collar. <laughs> you cute. What are you doing? Hmm. But maybe one day we can break the distance seem to be more promising than our and domestic labour. So I'm just watching a lecture, well, a series of lectures now, four lectures 
that we've been asked to watch for Tuesday's class. Um, we've got a seminar on Tuesday with this artist. Um, so I'm basically just watching over these four lectures and taking some notes. It's about quarter past eight now. Um, today I've not really done very much. I don't think I've filmed at all. Basically this week it's just been really, um, like I've not really been doing much. Um, oh yeah, I did film a wee bit of a commission that I was doing actually. Um, but basically I had this morning I just chilled out um, and then I had done some drawing and at two o'clock I had a casting consultation so basically I mean I've already been in casting at home but um, I just wanted to ask more of like a professional so the, can the casting tutors from the school they're doing like zoom consultations so you can go on zoom with them and explain your idea and then they can tell you like the best way to do it um and i've already i already had a few ideas of how i was going to do it anyway because i've got experience with casting before um but yeah she just gave me kind of almost like confirmation that i was doing it the right way and um, but she also gave me other ways to do things if they don't work out but yeah, so I was meant to go on a Zoom at five o'clock, but I fell asleep, so <laughs> I didn't make that. And now, basically the last thing that I've got to do today is this seminar work. I just want to get this out of the way, because tomorrow I'm kind of hoping to have more of a chill day. I've got a Zoom at 11 in the morning, I think. And then Graham finishes work at like quarter past three and then we've got like a couple of things that we need to do like go shopping and stuff so I'm going to be at the house um, and then I'm trying my hardest not to work on the weekends and if I'm doing work on the weekends it's work that I am enjoying so like if I'm just sitting on my computer with nothing to do sometimes I'll just go and have a look at some research or read a read a book for my essay or something just the weekend I'm trying not to stress myself out um, because I have been overworking myself even though it seems like I'm not doing anything I'm constantly thinking about uni and I'm constantly looking at things and taking notes and, and thinking about uni like so I might not be making but it's constantly on my mind and I think I'm overworking myself um, yeah so that's did I say what day it's, it's Thursday Thursday today. Um, yeah, so it's quarter past eight now, so I'm basically just gonna do these lectures. I think this one's 15 minutes, I don't know how long this one is. Yeah, it's basically like an hour of lectures and just taking notes, and then I'll be ready for this one Tuesday. Back in time for us to 